everybody. Welcome back. I finally completed this journal. Um, I've named it Echoes in My Heart. Um, let's see, it's in the little book plate there. Uh, gosh, I don't know. I'm losing track of it, but it feels like I am taking forever to get these completed. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a long time coming, but I finally have got it done. Again, this one measures uh, about six inches by <clears throat> eight and a half. It's got about a two and a half inch spine. There's three signatures. Um, it's big. It's it's full of goodies. Um, it's covered again with the Tim Holtz fabric, and um, and then the kit inside. This is a design team project for, <coughs> excuse me, Artie Mays uh, Nature's Walk Kit. So, there's a few bits and pieces from various kits I've got that um, I have in my stash that coordinate nicely. But 95% um, of it is from this kit here. And another one that coordinates really nicely with Nature's Walk is Artie Mays. Um, back to nature. That looks really nice. So there's a few pieces from that in here. But um, we'll get started going through. The closure is so, ser Sorry Silk. Um, lots of layering on the front. Uh, a couple of the images from the kit. Some burlap. Some old trim here that's been tea dyed. And then various um, bits of crocheted things and a button that I've stitched on. So I'll try to give you guys a really close look there. I'm trying to slow down in my uh, filming and I do apologize my previous tutorial on um, book page ideas after I edited it and got it uploaded and watched it. Oh, I don't know. I hope that nothing's going wrong with my camera so I'm really hoping that this is going to come out nicer because uh, that one was really blurred. So I, I just don't know. I really hope my camera's not about to start playing up on me. Okay, inside here. Love this. Oh, another kit I used. <clears throat> Goodness, I'll have to link it below. It's Artie Mays. Um, she's got a new kit out, and I apologize. I can't think of the name of it, but I'll put that in the link below as well because I did combine quite a few of those elements in here because they all match just so so nicely. They're all florals and uh, woodland scenes, and it, 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 I just love it. I love it. Um, here I did some stenciling and stamping. Some sari silk with some uh, Irish linen thread there. I tried to do quite a bit of stitching in here. Some of the pages, um, this one I backed with some tea dyed paper, but most of the papers um, are um, tea dyed. Uh, no coffee dyed in here. Like I said to you guys, I'm, I'm not doing much coffee dyeing anymore. This is the other kit, and I, gosh, I wish I'm just having a blank. Um, oh my gosh, are they gorgeous. So that is beautiful. So I'll link that below because there's tags and journal cards with that kit, and I love it. Um, this is a bit of old uh, typewriter manual. This is an old... Um, nature book page. I, I've just created a little flip out there with a little notepad and it says if I find a flower. Here is one of her um, floral journal cards. Actually there's three kits in here and I will link that one as well because these are some floral uh, journal cards that Ari May offers and I love that. So I made a little tuck spot there and uh, there's a tag here and this is one of the journal cards from the Nature's Walk Kit. Here I've just done a little pull out. I've backed it with some tea dyed paper and that's just a bit of um, Tim Holtz paper. Lover tabs that come in this kit. You guys know I, um, I worked with this kit <clears throat> when I did the hair journal and I love it and I, uh, I knew I had to come back and do another because I'm in love with this kit. 
uh, and it really suits these um, big journals, I think. Okay, here, guys, I did a tutorial this morning, if you haven't had a chance to see it. Just trying to come up with some ideas that are maybe a little bit different on how we can use our book pages. And this is an example of um, one of the garden books I've got. I've just taken three layers of it and ran it through my big shot with a butterfly dye. And then I ran, <clears throat> I put my linen thread through it, or you could use some baker's twine, and ran a zigzag stitch down it. I've added a glass bead there, and then I've just secured it in the journal so that it just dangles. And you can always take that out if it bugs you. Um, I haven't made it permanent. It could just be moved. Um, and you could really use it as like a little book page if you wanted. But um, So check out that video. I'll put a link below for that one. It's um, and let's see, here is some more of this, um, it's a textured wallpaper sample. And I loved the colors, I thought they went really nice with this. These are some of the um, journal cards from the kit. I did a bit of stitching, added some trim up there. I love that image, isn't that beautiful? Just love it. Um, let's see here. Here I've done <clears throat> a little altered paper clip with some of the um, extra scrapbook paper I had. And then this is just some, um, you know, the craft paper that you get on a roll for shipping. I just sat down one day and made a bunch of pockets and then just added that little image. And these <coughs> are some of the tickets that you get in the, the kit. Love those. So I'll just tuck those in there. And that's been clipped in. And then on this side, I've got um, just one of the, it's just a, a printout I got from online. And then these little mason jars you get in that kit. Love those. A uh, garden book page that I've doubled up, made into a pocket. This is another of the journal cards that you get in the kit. Beautiful. And just another little one I stuck in. Another tab. These are the pages that come in it. You get loads of um, double-sided pages. Here I did some embossing on some uh, handmade paper. And a couple more journal um, cards. Here I did a fabric pocket out of some of the ticking uh, material. And then I just collaged one of the um, journal cards that I've just ripped around and did some stitching there. Love this page. You guys know I'm crazy about that collar. That is so pretty. Here I did, um, this is one of the pockets, this is one of the big, big tags you get, so I did a, a bit of stitching there, backed it with some tea dyed paper, and this is one of my fabric photo cards, um, added some old trim to it and stitched that, so you can do writing on the back of it, it's just fabric on the front. Just make sure I'm still in frame, guys, I have to keep keep checking. I really hope this video has come out clearer. I, I really do apologize for that previous tutorial. I had no idea that it was not filming right, and I don't know if that was down to the lighting, because it's really gray here today. Um, we're supposed to be getting rain this weekend. Um, that, oh, I love those journal cards that she puts in there. Isn't that beautiful? That's been tucked in. Another. Um, this is one of the tags from the uh, floral tags and card kit, and then this is some more of that. It's a it's a textured wallpaper, and I cut into some tags. Love that page. Some grid paper that's been um, tea dyed. Here's just another um, envelope that I've. I did this little journal card, 
did some stitching around and this is one of the in, um, window envelopes so that on this side it shows through. So. And here I just did a flip out with an Edith Holden page. I love her uh, book pages so much. <coughs> I got, um, uh, I think I've got about three books that I'm using within journals, but I've kept two books for, my, for myself. And when I've got time, I'd love to go through and read her books. They are just, I just enjoy them so much because her illustrations are so pretty. And then... You know, the way that she wrote, um, it's just very relaxing. Um, it's a nice read rather than some of the novels that are out that are just more bad news. Um, the typewriter manual, I, I don't know. Somehow I managed to get two pages in there, and I didn't realize it till I'd already sewn it in, so you guys have got two pages of that. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's like 1960s that um, book was, so it's pretty cool. Back in the day, back in the day. But isn't it funny, it's all turning back around. Everybody wants typewriters now. And if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you'll see my collection. I think I've got about, um, I don't know, we must have about eight or nine vintage typewriters now. And... Oh, I'm crazy, honestly. What the heck am I doing with nine typewriters? I can't even type. It's like, doom, doom, doom. <laughs> but I do love them. And um, I try to, you know, well, my thinking, you guys know I'm crazy. My thinking was, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna start typing into my journals. I'm going to include that. Well, yep, I, what, three years on and... Uh, I think there's only been a couple of times that I've remembered to do it because the typewriter's in another room. And you guys know by now, if it's not within my little um, radius, you know, one foot radius here, it probably isn't going to get used in that project. So, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's it. But why? Every time I go to a car boot and see a beautiful retro typewriter I can't leave it so I you know I mean they're so cheap so you think well I just can't walk away from this so anyway sorry I'm just uh, chattering away today um, back to that um, card with some tea dye paper and this is one of the journal cards from the kit yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I'm really chatty today, and I, I don't know. I didn't think I had had more coffee than normal, but it's about that time. I probably ought to get another um, dose of caffeine going. Oh, I love this. This is, comes in the kit. That is so sweet. Oh, yeah, here. This is the one of the mason jars. You get a couple of these. <clears throat> so I've glued it down so that you could do journaling, but then I left the back open so that it was a little tuck spot as well. <clears throat> here um, just made a little pocket there with another journal card and some stitching around that the grid paper that's been see that I don't know that that's my tea dyeing and see how it's like a nice warm honey love that that's Rubios tea I think that I hope I'm pronouncing that right so if any of you are wondering that's the kind of tea I use I don't use black tea which is what uh, most of the tea that we drink in the South is it's like a black uh, black pioki tea or something. But you got to get the Rubios, and I don't know how common it is over in the U.S., but I I can get it here really easy. And oh my gosh, it makes look it's just beautiful color. And it depends on how long you leave it in there, obviously. Um, Here's another one of the fabric pockets, and this is another journal card from the uh, florals journal card and tag kit. Ooh, this is beautiful. You will love those. They're very, um, they're along the lines of the Edith Holden images, I think. 
I think they, they've got that kind of look to them. So if you like Heat of Hold and you can't get your hands on it, you would love that. <clears throat> this, um, another page from the kit. I love that. How she's put that up there. Um, that's another journal card from this new kit uh, Artie Maze has come out with. Oh man, when I saw that, I fell in love with it. Um, just a couple other little, that's a little, um, tech. Gosh. And then this is um, a little seed envelope. This is a Tracy uh, Fox, if you guys are curious. Like I said, Tracy's and um, Artie Mays really coordinate nicely together. Uh, book page, love these. Uh, another tab. She gives you quite a few tabs, which is really, really nice. And that's the center of the signature. Look at that. The colors are so pretty, guys. They print, they print out really, really nice. Um, somebody was asking me what I use. I just use an inkjet. I'm on the HP um, ink plan. It's served me really well. I've done it for two years now, and I cannot um, complain. They've been amazing to me. I know a lot of people, you know, you get some people haven't had such great results, but I've I've really liked it. I do want to get a um, laser jet, but I don't have the room for it right now. But I would like to get that at some point. Um, love how that's come out. That's been back down to one of Tracy's um, tags and stitched, and it, it's come out beautiful. This is just a flip over. Sorry, I was talking again. And then you've got a place there you can put something. Uh, another one of the vintage book pages. <clears throat> and here's the hair he's making. Um, and then this is a um, just a printout I had. And then I've just collaged these two, did some stitching so that you got kind of like a double double tuck spot there. And some more of the embossed paper there. Um, here I've got. Um, well, tuck spot there that I just made. I did some stamping and then stitched it with some vintage um, lace. And here is another book page that I've just stitched in some extra scraps and stuck that in as an extra little notebook. Some old uh, music sheet. Here, um, this is another element that I've just turned it into like a bookmark so that you could just move it throughout. I really like that. And another little um, <coughs> ultra paper clip. And then here's another one of those little, it's like a floating pocket that you can move throughout the journal. And we're on to the last signature. Um, here's a um, one of the 6x9 envelopes that's been tea dyed, so you've got a place to tuck some things there. Another tab. Um, this is one of the big um, tags that you get. You get three of these, I believe, so I've glued that down so that you can have some secret writing in there. Oh, look at that owl. Isn't he beautiful? And just some old papers. Tried to mix it up really good. This is from that Britain book and I love the illustrations in that book. Here is um, another little altered paper clip and this is a little um, I've tucked in one of the tags into this. So this is kind of like a floating binder that you can um, file folder, sorry, that you can move throughout the journal. Um, and let's see here, I've got a pocket and then another little tuck spot and a couple of tags. Some more of the embossed paper. Uh, 
and I don't know off the top of my head how many pages, but that will be in the listing. This, this is going to go up for sale in my shop. Um, this is another of the journal cards, um, uh, tags from that floral kit, and this is a pocket from Artie Mae's um, journal kit. Here is another idea I gave this morning um, on how to do reverse um, die cuts. So I've just cut that out and then I've did some stitching around it and glued it into uh, here to create another pocket. And then I just did some stamping on some uh, muslin there. And just another little altered paper clip. And here is Sorry, this is one of the big envelopes um, she gives you. I love these. I've glued this one together, so it's just you can move it around and then I've added a little um, phrase there. <coughs> Another uh, bit of that uh, book page, some more vintage book page, ledger paper, and some grid paper. And then here, um, another little tuck spot. <coughs> Love that journal card, isn't that beautiful? And then a tiny envelope there. Here I did, um, this is another book page pocket, and then I did some gesso over it just to tone it down slightly. And this is one of Artie Mae's um, journal cards that comes in the Nature's Walk. Uh, now this, this was a, a bit of a goof up on my part. <laughs> I put this in, and of course you know, I wasn't patient enough to wait till it dried. I stuck the um, tag in so that I could remind myself that I need to decorate that tag. I want that tag in here. Well, it glued down and it glued down permanent. So it's going to be kind of like a little fake tag. And then I've just added this little journal card here down in there. But yeah, that was a, a goof. But we, we make do, don't we? Um, the other part of that envelope, and this is the back of the journal. Did some stitching around that. That's another of the journal cards from the kit, and then I created a little tag there. And that's out of one of her journal cards, and I just placed it so that it would fit within that tag. And that's the back of the journal, guys. It's a big one. And like I said, if you're interested, this will go in my shop. I'll put the link below. So um, I'll put all the links below in the description box for anything um, that relates to this. I've got tutorial that relates back to this. I've got all the already May's kits, which are three that we've used. Um, and then um, check out my Etsy shop. Is still open. I'm, I've got things clearanced in there, so take a look there because I've got some really good prices on my uh, items in there. And then this will be for sale on my website, so if you're interested in that, I'll put the link below for that as well. So guys, that's it for me for this week. I think I'm going to take um, a couple of days off, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!